Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. The future is so bright, I can't even see what I'm doing. Yeah, take a look at that. It is so bright out here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon in Oklahoma. But we're going to spend some time with an old friend. How old? Remember this old girl? This is one of the ones that started it all. This is my S500 1997. I've had this for a long, long time. And if you've been following the channel, you know what happened. Okay, so I fixed her up, got her on the road, changed the transmission, all that kind of stuff, did all this great stuff and work on her. First time I took her out, look what happened. <laughs> First time out, somebody got me. Somebody got me. Yep, thank you very much. It's been like that for about a year now, but I have a fix. And today we're gonna to focus once again on the S500. Yep, here she is. I know that's wrong. I know the tires are wrong because I have the AMG version that she came with. I'm getting some tread put on those. Okay, so this is from a CL500, but they fit and they work. And I just needed something to kind of move her around here in the parking lot. All right, we are going to focus on the door and the trunk because look what I found. Other than Lola, yeah, other than Lola, we have a new trunk. We gotta work on this, okay? It's in a little better shape, but I really wanna point your attention to this right here. Alexa, power off. There we go. That was Al Jarreau. thank you very much. Look, we have a new door for that. Yeah, I got this at the junkyard. $65, thank you very much. I know that the molding is the wrong color. That's easy to fix, because the molding's the correct color right there. So today, we're putting a new door on the old girl. All right, well that was way more involved than anticipated. Yes sir, Bob, take a look at everything that came off the car. <laughs> Door card, basically everything, okay? So you have the window regulator right here. You have one, two, three, four, five points that it's attached. You have the window motor, you have everything. Then you get to undo all of this, see? Yeah, undo all of that and it runs all the way back to the locking mechanism back there, okay? So I fished most of this stuff out right here. I've got the latch, the door check removed, which is held in with this thing, which was a lot of fun to get out. Yep, pounded out with a hammer. Now I'm hoping, well I know, because I took the other door off. All you do is lift it up and these two little points right here, these two hinges come right off. And then I get to fish out the wires, okay? So we're gonna do that and then we'll put the other door on and then we get to do this all in the reverse order. Look at all that, look at all that work. Behold, feast your eyes on all of that goodness. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay, we have the new window regulator installed. I hope these windows match up to the other ones. I think they're all kind of the same. Um, window regulator from the old door that was all dented. This wasn't damaged, so we've got this good to go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Woo! Okay, and I'm using uh, 3 16 rivets because that's all I could get at Ace. That's all they had. Okay, so they seem to work fine. Okay, we have this attached. That goes right back there. This is attached to your locking uh, pump right here. This goes to the uh, door handle part right here. All this part will go to the door card. Okay, now we're taking off the outside of the door, this little trim piece. So what we have is a little screw here 
and then I just simply popped, see this right here? One, two, three, four. I popped them out. Okay, those are the little attachment points. And as you can see right here, to get it off, where I'm gonna have to push it towards the front of the car, and then hopefully this will come off. I'm kind of practicing on this one because this is the uh, trim piece from the old one. Okay, there you go. Did you see that? See how that moved? Okay, so it should just come off now. Let me show you. See how easy? Open up this door. And voila, the part that doesn't match. The part that does match is over there. So we will replace them. See, it's just a different color, a little bit darker. I'm so happy. As far as color goes, look. Looks just almost the same to me. Okay, that's in a little more shade than this one. So we'll get it all together, including this part, and we'll show you how we did. Here's what it looks like without the piece attached. Okay, I still haven't aligned it or anything, but look, <laughs> kind of naked, right? Look at that. You can see exactly how it attaches too. So let's do this. Let's attach this. Okay, we have the square ones on top. We have the little round inserts on the bottom. Let me back up the camera one little notch. There we go. Super easy. I'm just gonna hold it like this between my legs. Okay, line up the top. Look at the color match. Okay. Look at that. That's how you do it, folks, okay? Then we have to just make sure that all these little parts are attached. Okay, so I'm gonna go underneath the car, make sure the uh, inserts line up to the holes right here. You just kind of go one at a time, snap them into place. There we go, we'll be right back. That, my friends, is how you fix the door. Look at that, beautiful. Can you tell? I think it's a great match. It's the same color. It's beautiful. Look at that. Even the window tint. Lovely. Lovely. Do you like it, Lola? Uh, Do you like it? Yes? Yes. Okay. That's a yes. Okay. So we're going to call that a huge win, everybody. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm so happy. Now we're going to focus our attention on the trunk, but that'll be tomorrow. We're back for a second day. Yep. Lola, legend and the S500. We have the trunk almost ready to remove. Okay, so basically what we've done so far, let me back it up, back it up. I've just learned the 0.5 on my camera, <laughs> my little iPhone. Yep, I didn't notice that before. Anyway, so we have the, the liner off. It's simply just these little tabs you pull apart. There's one right there, okay? Then we've removed the latch. We've removed the little part that sticks out uh, through there, right there. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six little screws that take that off. This whole unit will slide out just like that. We've also removed, like I said, the latch right here, which goes right there. So you have one vacuum connector there and one vacuum connector there that pigtails into two. Now, this is the easy part. We just have four 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, one, two, three, four. Then we put that one on. Yep, that one right there, even though it's a little bent, we have a plan for that and it says S320. Yeah, we're gonna take the S320 off. I don't know about the Razorback though. Should I leave him on there? The car came from Arkansas. Actually, yeah, that car, that car came from Arkansas and that car came from Arkansas. I may just have to leave the pig on there. Sue pig, woo pig. Okay. We're going to take this off and we'll put the new one on there and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Once again, this is the reason this one's kind of beat up here too. Okay. So this is kind of beat up right there. Not as big as the other one, but the problem I have is the paint. It's just all crappy. It's horrible. And yes, I know I'm going to need to reprint a respray on the top, but I would like to keep this part original and maybe just do the top, keep the cost down. Okay. This silver is so hard to keep. All right, just like that, we're getting us a new hood. Mike is celebrating with the Ding Dong, which are like half the size they used to be. So anyway, this isn't perfect. Okay, I just wanted to kind of bang it out 
because most of it's going to be hidden by the license plate anyway. Eventually, we'll get it looking perfect, but I just want to get it on there and get this to where it'll shut because it's beautiful today. Tomorrow it's going to rain like crap. Tomorrow I'm supposed to pick up another car, believe it or not. Yep, it's raining 140s, W140s. We got a thunderstorm of S500s or S320s here at Monkey Wrench Manor or Casa de Mule. So anyway, we're going to get this buttoned up. Okay, we're going to put the latch, the vacuum part right in there, get all these lines attached, and we'll give it a close. I know I'm going to have an issue with my gap right here. This car, years and years and years ago, had a little back impact. And see, you can tell right there, it's about that much pushed in. So we're going to do what we can. Maybe we can push in the hood or the trunk. I don't know. We're just going to see. But it's going to look much better than what was on there. I guarantee you. And with that, and just like that, we've got us a trunk that is so much better. See how the license plate hides most of the damage? <laughs> yes, sir. Still working on the gaps, okay? We're a little tight over here, a little looser over here. But I did, I took off the lights and I banged this out a little bit. I banged it out a little bit so it would line up a little nicer to the end of the car. So that's that's good. But I gotta tell you, I'm really happy, happy, excuse me, happy about this. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. One thing that happened when I was banging out the end, this just popped right off. <laughs> Look at that. So I gotta glue it. See? Look at that. Just popped right off. These lights have been through the ringer. There's actually the car that I am getting some parts for, for my free car. There's a car at, uh, at uh, one of the pull-apart yards here in Big Tulsa. And I was gonna go get it, but it was literally, I got there at 3.45 and they closed at four. So I missed out. So I'm gonna have to go back and get that uh, Monday or Tuesday. But anyway, we're gonna change this. We're gonna change this, keep this. I think we're gonna keep the razor back. I think we're gonna call the hogs. Sue Pig! So we're back in the driver's seat of the 97 S500. I gotta tell you, this car I've had for <laughs> more than a couple of years, and every time I get it fixed, something goes wrong. So I think this time, I'm hoping this time, that when I fix it, she stays fixed, okay? We fixed the door, we fixed the trunk. The only thing we have left is the transmission. Yeah, what would, what would need to happen for us to get a transmission? Maybe there's a car similar to this one sitting in the back of a Mercedes dealership somewhere in the Midwest that I can go and pull home and then pull parts from. <gasps> what a brilliant idea. I think that might just be our next video. Yeah, you're going to be good. You're going to be fine, little girl. Okay, we're bringing you back to life. I love you. I love you. I love you. The engine and everything runs really, really well. The engine is like, mm -hmm, great stuff. It's just everything else has been a little difficult to bring back to life. But it's, we're going to make it happen. We are. So thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. And please, if you haven't subscribed, do what Lola does and subscribe, right? Say, say subscribe. Say subscribe, everybody. Look here. Say, say subscribe. Please subscribe. Please, please subscribe to Monkey Wrench Mike. Cheese. Okay, thank you. Mwah. All right. Bye, everybody.